when I tell you that I hate to make handles, I hate to make handles. So following the instruction, you fold it in half and you iron it to get a crease. Then you're going to fold half of the half in and I'm actually gonna pin it because I've been ironing it and it does not want to crease for me. Um, my flatter sprays upstairs. So I'm gonna pin that in. I'm then going to fold in about a quarter. See, I've got it halfway in. I'm gonna take about a quarter of an inch in because I don't want a raw edge when I sew this together and I'm just gonna top stitch it. Um, you may have a different way you do this. This is how I do it. I'm gonna use my little finger saver from the quilted cow here. Uh, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a press. Okay, so I've got it folded in half and I've got it folded in a quarter. I'm going to take it and I'm gonna fold it once again and see how that gives me a non-raw edge. And I'm gonna go top stitch this, but first I'm going to pin it and I'm gonna press it, both of them, because I have found that this just does not want to stay put and I don't want my handles to look bad. So now we're going to top stitch. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use my white thread because it's in there. I could change to a yellow if I had some yellow, but I don't. So we're going to use white and not complain. So these are way better than the first time I did them. Lots easier. Do it the way I just showed you. I'm glad I deleted those other videos of me trying to do it my own way. Sometimes my own way doesn't work.